All right, there we go. That was weird. Oh, I know why. I know why, because I was... So, my soundbar decided to kick the bucket. And, uh... <laughs> I had to get a new one. So, it's being, uh, it's being shipped out. Um... So, yeah. <clears throat> I reckon that there's got to be like a 20 second delay. There's got to be a 20 second delay, I think, between like the life. It's all good though. How's everyone going? We've got 26 beautiful people here. What's happening? Let's play some games. I just want to... I'm, I'm loading up a bit of a surprise. <clears throat> Congrats on hitting red rank. Oh, thank you. I don't know if I'll be able to hang on to it, but... We'll, we'll see what happens, huh? We'll see what happens. Alright. Uh, Change that background, I'm gonna slow that background down. <clears throat> what time is it? Uh, should we try? Nah, it'd be too late. Uh, maybe west. We'll see how we go. I want to see if I can load a game up to show you guys. So I'm going to see how we go. <laughs> Peacemaker will be the saver MK1. Oh, don't worry. Wait, you know, oh, here we go. It's going to work. I think it's going to work. Here we go. We are cooking with gas. This shit better load up. I'll tell you what, man. There we go. Ah, uh, what do we got? <laughs> We are reading that the mobile headquarters is online and operating at full capacity. Stand by to receive the ARC. Loaded up with the payload. Vulture 1 on the way. Clear the drop zone. This is fire. Build tool down on the double brimstone 1. Brimstone you one have incoming arachnid threats with no base. time to lose. Move it. The base is under attack in the western quadrant. Uh, Peacemaker trailer should be done, or should be out in an hour, apparently. So, we'll see. is going to activate in 30 seconds.
Uh, what time is it? Uh, 10 past 11 at night. That's, that's, that's absolutely the shittiest place, but bro, what are you doing with that? What was that? That wasn't good. Arc has been fired. Data from the seismic pulse looks good. Expect a horde inbound to your location. ETA, now. Attention, elevated arachnid threat level has been detected. Yep. here we go. Oh, that big bitch. Announce crossplay. That'd be nice. You know. Target at seventy-five percent. We're almost there, Brimstone One. The base is under attack in the western quadrant. Move it to the LZ. 
Okay, troopers, hustle up. Where are we going? This way. Okay. Fucking bite, man. What are you doing? Light up some hell divers. I, I can see if hell divers is going to work. This is Starship Troopers Extermination. Definitely check it out. Since we're all uh, squishing bugs at the moment, let's see if we can get into hell divers. There was a, there was an update just before, so let's see if it's let's see if it's going to work. Let's see how we go. They've got to increase their server capacity. It's just ridiculous at the moment. Alright, let's go. Yep, yep. Let's see how we go. Yeah, I'm actually, you know, the only thing I'm interested in about this trailer is seeing what they do with Ferra. 
Because I think they're going to showcase the next cameo, because they usually do that. So we'll get the character, then we'll get the... Uh, we'll get the, uh, the cameo that'll come out in a few weeks, because obviously... Obviously... We can't be trusted with getting two things at once. Are we in? Holy shit, I think we're in. Yep, we're fucking... here we go. The automatons have been... Yeah, yeah, go away. Perhaps those mindless machines will think twice before attempting any future incursions. All right, here we go. We got one of four, one of four, one of four. I will eat my ass. Okay, is it not going to let me chew? Mission coordinates locked. Help pods prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. <sighs> yep. Yep. Uh... Yeah, that'll do. Jellyfish. You are the best of the fish. Live up to your name. Live up to freedom. You man. Fuck it, there we go. Thank you. Dumbass. Oh, that's what. Uh... Going down a support weapon.
Go I'm not. Don't tell me what I'm doing. Uh, where is it? Follow me. You man. Let's not run through the camp of angry terminators.
Some samples collected. That's a good Is that one? The bridge is yours, Helldiver. Take us to the fight. Oh, I think he's in charge. What the fuck is this? That looks stupid!
Your fellow Hellfarers rage against the enemy's tyranny. Do it. Successful operation. The FTL jump successful. Help hot prime. Mission coordinates locked. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing, man? Shooting me. Get me back in the game, boy. Good man. Oh, I wanted to land on that fucker. Uh, where's the thing? There we go. Oh no, I don't want that one. I want that Thank one. You. Okay.
Am I dead yet? No, I'm good.
launching advanced weaponry! He's up there.
Why? Let's. No, you didn't miss. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't miss Game Maker. Let's find the. Let's find the channel. I'll just. Hang on. Let me just. Um. Set that up so that's all done. There we go. Oh. Wonder what they're gonna show. What's happening everyone? Do you know I haven't I haven't loaded this game up in two weeks. Over two weeks now I think. Where's my window capture? Is that is that gonna show up? Stupid. Okay. All right. Can I do? What's the display? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I haven't loaded this game up in two weeks. <clears throat> Last time I loaded up Mortal Kombat was on the sixth. I just I have like no interest. Boring ass game. But it will be very interest it'll be very interesting to see what they show. <clears throat> I haven't done uh I don't know if I've done a thumbnail up. I was going to review this season just to show what was in there, but I think I'm get, I think I'm getting to that point where it's not it's not even worth like reviewing the seasons because it just apart from like new sort of like outfits, it just kind of just dull. You haven't played since January seventh. Wow. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's disappointing, isn't it? Like it's it shouldn't be that way. I I <clears throat> I think they've they've definitely got to have like um uh they definitely got to have crossplay. They definitely got to have crossplay. They got on. They got to announce it, man. Like, I, I don't think it's going to change much. Um. Yeah, I don't think it's going to change much. Let's have a look at the populations, right? So, what's the MK11 population right now on Steam? Two thousand four hundred and twenty-six. Mortal Kombat One. Well, not that one. Yeah. <laughs> 
888 people are playing Mortal Kombat 1 right now. And Mortal Kombat 11 has 2,426. Tekken 7, what's Tekken 7 got? Uh, Tekken 7 has 1,860. Uh, where's Grand Blue? Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising has 1,698. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, um... Tekken 8, of course. Uh, 21,853. And then Street Fighter 6. Did Ed, did, uh, Ed come out yet? Did it, uh, has Ed been released for Street Fighter 6 yet? Alright, okay, so Tekken, Tekken 8 currently has slightly more player base than Street Fighter 6 on Steam. Yeah, seriously, look, how many players, people are playing this one? Is this a... Oh no, that's that one. Where's, this, where's the sequel? Because I, I did get Under Night 2. I don't think I've loaded it up yet. No. Oh, there we... Is that it? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. Doesn't say. No, that's not it. No, that's not the one. Bloody hell. Hang on. What have we got here? We've got Undernight Inbirth EX Late. EX Late CLR. Uh, melt. Oh, that's Melty Blood. Alright, no. Hang on. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Doesn't say. Okay, fine. I'd have to check the. I'll have to check the uh, the Steam charts actually and see what they say. Oh, Ed's not out yet. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's fucking woeful, man. Well, it's twelve o'clock. We'll just start refreshing the page. Uh, how many people are playing this one? This is actually this is actually a really good fighting game, actually. Somebody mentioned this the other day and decided to load it up, and then I went through the like the tutorial to learn it. It's pretty fucking good. Hang on, whoops. Uh, I was playing. I better be careful with that page. All, all the degenerates. I got, uh, what is it? I got this fighting game the other day. I haven't reviewed it yet. I was going to. It's got mostly negative. I'm not sure why. I didn't mind it. What's it saying? Okay. Well, it's an old game. Who gives a shit? Um. Oh, here we go. Now, here we go. Peacemakers up. Let's do it. Let's go. This is no time to smile. Hell yeah it is. Fight a fire god is coming off my bucket list.
You're the first bangable monster chick I've met. You think me a monster? Eagle <laughs> I bet shits take more effort than beating you, Will. I will so enjoy killing you. Peacemaker wins. Uh. I have secondhand cringe. Is that possible? Can you get secondhand cringe? Does his, does his eagle attack their cameo? How you going, Just Drew? How you going, bro? Now, what's this say? Look at this ugly bitch. Look! What the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? This looks, this looks a motherfucking ridiculous. Look at this. There you go on trains, what's happening? What the fuck is this? Hey, is is that what it said? Is that a, are we getting a free to play weekend? Here we go. Oh, that's what I was looking for. 
Look at this dumb, look at this dumb bitch. Look at this dude's face. Look at his face, man. <laughs> Bro, I'd much rather rub one out with a fucking cheese grater. What the hell is wrong with them? Oh yeah, this is this look at this fucking man face. You know, I had I had I had this wonderful I had this I have this wonderful comment. Apparently me, me, of all people is the reason why anime and video games can't be taken serious. Uh, excuse me, I present to you exhibit number 176 from the team of Netherrealm. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Look at this ugly ass bitch. All right. So, so there's a free to play weekend, right? Boy, do I have some fucking thumbnails to make. Woohoo! Fucking what a joke, man! What a fucking joke. Ah, uh, hey, what? What is she? Dude, look at that fucking face, man! What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that, man? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, 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 right? Hey, She looked like, yeah, holy shit. This is a Stephanie Brown back insert. They fucking did it. They fucking did it. They jumped the shark, man. They jumped the, <laughs> they jumped the, uh, they jumped, they jumped the shark. Holy shit, biscuit. Where is it? Where's this, where's this fuck? Where's this chick's face? Alright. Here we go. They, they fucking did it, man. They, they, you're right. What the fuck is this shit? Uh, yeah, which, uh, which way, Western man? Right. Look at this. It's Brian Fury. Uh, did that download? Where'd the picture go? Oh, did it go in there, did it? No? Where'd I put it? Hang on. Did I, did I take a screen? Oh, no, I didn't take a screenshot. This is an ugly ass face, man. This is disgraceful. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on, man? Hang on. Where'd it, where'd it go? This is a joke. I can't, I can't. I can't with these people anymore, man. I just can't. I just can't. Now, yeah, don't. Hang on. Hang on.
Looks like Foxy Grip. <laughs> Change the hair color. Uh, true underdog and the other hype. Oh yeah, man. Fuck it. This is this is gonna be true underdog. He's gonna be like zip. He's gonna be like. He's gonna be. He's gonna be fucking. We're gonna have to rename some of these shields to crankshaft because that's what the. That's what they're gonna be doing, right? Get the fuck out of with this shit. Yeah, tug's gonna tug. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. You're trying, you're trying to eat, hang on. My bad. This is fucking ridiculous, man. Like, who, who's this, who's this, who's this for? Who's a stupid hater? Am I a stupid hater? Oh, I don't hate it, bro. It's just pathetic. Is he? What? What is? What is this dickhead blowing? Is this a special move like that he has in the in the show? Is this a special move? This thing here? What the hell's this shit? Oh, it's a blow. <laughs> it's a it's a blow dart. Is it? Ah, uh, yes, you are idiot. Okay, cool. Well, I appreciate all the love. Man, this is what a what a ridiculous He's got many helmets to do different things. Oh, okay. That that Was this <laughs> 
Hey, hey, here we go. Hey. Uh. I'm getting I'm getting some of these vibes. Where is it? Hang on. Well, actually, no, no, no. Hang on. Let's go further back than that. Um, see so if I can find a picture of it. Ah, oh, that's not it either. That looks ridiculous. Was this made in Photoshop? This is made in Photoshop. Yeah, what the fuck is? Okay. <clears throat> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Damn it, Janet, move. Ready? Watch it. She does like this. Look. She goes pop, pop, pop. Then the eagle comes in. This is this is like wow. <laughs> they made this an hour ago, says Marco. Yeah, they probably did. Is it is this made for kidlets? Like 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 do you have to be like a teenager to to appreciate this shit humor? I don't know. So, so, just so we're clear, just so we're clear, because I've covered this before, this right here, that's, this is, um, this is false advertising, this is lying. You know that, right? What was your favourite side game from the 3D era? Oh, definitely Motor Combat. Yeah, definitely Motor Combat, man, I love that sort of shit. Yeah. I just, I just, this is like... It just doesn't suit Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is supposed to be all serious. You know, and things like the friendships were supposed to be the, the like the levity. Right? So from March 7 to March 10, right? Yeah, where's Crossplay? Yeah, yeah, Crossplay is, um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the mail. <laughs> Uh, there's no crossplay. Alright. I thought I didn't care about guest characters, just let people be excited for characters, idiot. I got something in my pocket for you, hang on. Hang on, hang on one sec. There it is. Let people be excited for characters. Am I stopping people from being excited for characters? Show me which prison in this world forces you to watch my channel. Fucking clowns. Get the fuck out of here. Right. This this must be all the, the MH followers coming over going, Ah, oh, how dare you say these terrible things? This is a shit sandwich. Look at this shit. Look, look at the way that this, look at the way that she walks in. Right? Look at the way that she walks in. Watch this, ready? Was she in the middle of taking a shit? Just shut up. No, I'm not gonna shut up, man. My channel. Doors that way, or that way. Or that way. Is she supposed to be... I don't think she's supposed to be tranny, but, like... Transaxle. Yeah, we'll call it that. I don't think she's supposed to be a transaxle. I don't know. But look at the arms on it. Right?
Look at this. Like, look. Look. Right? Look at it. Hang on. Does that, does that get you horny? <gasps> what a fucking disaster. Oh my god, what a disaster. Now, now, hang on, so what's the date? What's the date today? The date today for me is the 23rd, right? Mm -mm. To be fair, I said I want to guess characters uh, one of the sounds hypocritical. Yeah, don't pull that shit with me. I already explained myself on guest character. One guest character might I add for Tekken. And the reason why a guest character wouldn't be a problem with Tekken is because Harada isn't compromising the roster for guest characters. That's the difference. No, 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 get, no characters coming out is going to save this game. That's just a fact. Right. Bro, MK11 has more people playing right now on Steam than MK1. That's a fact. I just showed it before. This is like... Yeah, no, nah, this, this is terrible, man. This is a joke. Let's let's get it on loop. Let's get it on loop. Didn't I say I wanted Tifa? Was it Tifa? Yeah, I did say I wanted Tifa in Tekken 8. What? Uh, what's wrong with that? Do you fucking people pay attention to my channel, or do you just listen to bullshit like everyone else spits out? What did I say? Harada doesn't compromise. The Harada didn't compromise. The release of the game for guest characters. That's the difference. Right? And and Tekken... Having a character like Tifa makes sense. These characters were not meant for Mortal Kombat. They were meant for Injustice 3. If you take all the blood out and all the gore... You can still do the ending moves. You just take out all the gore and it would still work. This game feels off because it was meant to be another game. It was meant to be Injustice. Right? Yeah, I thought it was going to be fairer too, because Boone's like, oh, this, this, this cameo is going to have like a lot of attitude. Or, or like, or something like that, wasn't it? It's still a guest character in the end of the day. Yeah. But I've never liked guest characters in Mortal Kombat. In general, I'm against them. But when Harada comes out and says, we don't even bother with that until we've done what we need to do, then that's fine. If he's got all these characters out that he wants for Tekken, and there's no one else that he wants to bring out, then do it. And don't lie, all you fuckers would be playing with Tifa anyway. So don't give me that shit. But since Mortal Kombat is my favorite fighting game, and I have been watching the franchise ever since the introduction of Freddy and Kratos, if you had the PS3 version, right? I never liked Freddy in it, never liked Kratos in it. Just just out of place characters. But they did it because they're trying to they're trying to get other markets to come by the game, right? Probably the closest character that you could argue for in terms of like guest characters that actually kind of makes sense would be Spawn. Spawn is probably the closest you can get and if they did Ghost Rider, 100% would fit. Because Ghost Rider is a character from like, you know, obviously like a demon or, or whatever it fucking is, right? The character that's obviously got the curse. You know, there's hell in the in in this in the comic series and whatnot, which then lines up with Nether Realm, which is hell. So you could do that. That makes sense. But still, I would prefer that they had 
all the characters from Mortal Kombat, and then you can add on your bullshit after it. Tekken is your favorite fighting game, so I don't want to guess character, and that's fine, dude. That's okay. I'm not advocating... Listen, I will never advocate a guest character takes over a main character in a fighting game. Ever. Right? Besides, I don't know if you follow Harada on, on uh, X anyway, Bailey. Um, like, I, I don't even know if it's possible anyway. So, Peacemaker has an anti-cameo move. Now you can attack those pesky cameos. Yeah. Like, the cameo system, like, now that I, like, I've said this before, right? Yeah, that, that's the problem, though. It's just because Peacemaker kills people doesn't mean to say that he fits Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat's goal was never about killing each other in terms of, like, the story. Right? The fatalities is just a gimmick, right? But the story itself, that's what's missing here. This is a this is a fucking this is like McDonald's, right? This is this is model McDonald's. The corporate corporate dot tm version of Mortal Kombat. God, if only I could get, if only I could get a fucking refund. What a what a what a travesty. Right, so free to play weekends from March 7th to March 10th. Right, that's fine. Uh, and then there's the day I used to. So Janet Cage is coming out of March. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, pin, yeah, I mean, yeah, Pinhead would definitely be a better fit over Peacemaker, but still it's a guest character, right? Uh, so I reckon, this is this is the thing, right? So we've still had no confirmation on, um, so we got no confirmation on crossplay. What's the bet? What's the bet that this is when crossplay comes out. March 7th. What do you reckon? I reckon that I reckon it will. <clears throat> Am I gonna react to all the future DLC trailers and still complain? Yes. You wanna know why? It's really simple, dude. This is my channel. And over here. I will do whatever the fuck I want. It's really very simple. If you want positivity, rub one out. Okay? Oh, true underdog's gonna get his, like, girlfriend to dress like Janet Cage. This is a fucking... Look at this face, dude. Did they just take Melina's face and squish her mouth down? I will delay it again. I I bought I bought uh, four copies of this game. Because I was, I was on the fence, that it, uh, not on the fence, I was over the fence thinking it was going to be good, right? And I had one, one was a giveaway, so there was somebody that won the, the competition, premium. And then I bought one for myself, and then two for family. Gonna complain about Combat Pack 2, they're not gonna buy it. <clears throat> Depends what's in Combat Pack 2. I can I can talk about I know this might come as a real shock. I'm starting to notice this lately, right? All the fucking bitches that are like, you shouldn't be talking about things you don't like. It's really simple. It's so simple. Fuck off. 
It's my channel. I'll talk about whatever I want. I am so fucking tired of playing nice now. I'm so sick of the bullshit, right? Just leave. Or the model kick you out if you don't behave yourself. It's as simple as that, right? Come to my house and shit on the floor. Fuck's sake. Anyway, right? So the next character that we're getting after what? Peacemaker is going to be Ermac, isn't it? Which means that we're not getting Ermac until what? April? And then there'll, and then there'll be a cameo for May, and then June will be Takeda, and the last cameo, right? Nah, man, I had my fucking eyes open to some shit in the last day or so. I'm fucking. That's it. I'm fucking done with these people telling me what to fucking talk about. Talking about my behavior and shit? Fuck off. It's as simple as that. Fucking being told I'm fucking clickbait when they do it and shit. Fuck them. Anyway, so yeah, this looks like trash. You know what's funny though, right? You know it's funny? Hang on, like, so, so, is it, isn't he like sexualizing Melina here? Right? Is, is this allowed? Uh, Mike and Foxy are losers. Right? Oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? Oh, my mistake. They're fucking losers. How about that? Right? Write that down in your diary. Off your pop. Yeah, isn't this sexual harassment? Isn't, isn't this sexual harassment right here? I, I thought Netherrealm were all about respecting women. Isn't, isn't... I'm confused, bro. What a clown show. <clears throat> They're not doing better than you. Of course they are when you do things in certain ways. Well, I tell, I tell you what, man. I tell you what. Because they're doing so better than me. Off you go. Did anyone ask the permission uh, of the American government if they can uh, do that with a... Is, is that a bald eagle? Are they protected species? Isn't this unsafe having a bald eagle in a in a in a fight fighting area? I know it's not real before the people like become stupid. Man, this is <laughs> So, if you, I've got old videos, right, which showcase like they originally. It's hilarious when Foxy Red Act reacts to my content. Of course it is, because that's what you do when you have no girlfriend, right? When you want to think other people are racist and bigots, of course it's funny. These guys got to get laid or something, you know, like buy some lotion or some shit, you know, tissue box. Next combat cast. Next combat cast, they're going to make sure the fucking comments are disabled. Right? That's what they're going to do. I, I didn't know Mortal Kombat became a comedy show. Is it... Is it... Is it supposed to be... Is it supposed to be funny? I'm confused. Dog shit fucking game. Unbelievable. What were they thinking? And then, when's the next season coming out?
Does anyone know? When's the next season coming out? Because, because, because. <laughs> oh. You know why, like, you know, the, the reason why you keep calling out this dumb shit is because you're bringing awareness to it, right? You need to keep bringing awareness to this stuff. Okay? It's like, it's like all the culture war stuff, you know, pushing all the woke shit in movies and TV shows and stuff like that. You keep calling it out. Right? You keep calling it out. You keep pointing out how, how, you know, poisonous, is, poisonous, poisonous, poison, poisonous it is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we don't, we don't need young, young foxy grandpas. We don't need. Don't encourage that behavior. Right. I mean, it does make a lot of sense that these guys call it beef sets. Just saying. Listen, if you want to go a certain way, that's all, you know, that's all good. It's all good, bro. You can, uh, you can do whatever you want with your, with your pecker. The Eddie Gordo gameplay reveal was more exciting. Oh yeah, man, it was 100%. It was amazing. What's your take on the gameplay? You haven't really commented on that. Okay, well let's let's all right let's 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 roll it back. All right, let's 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 break down the. I, 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 like, I'm cringing so hard, my dick is hiding, hiding behind my balls. <clears throat> Alright, let's check it, let's, let's break down the gameplay. This is just fucking ridiculous, man. Is, is Peacemaker wear? does he wear, like, washing, is this dude wearing washing up gloves? You know, all right. Let's all right. Let's 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 break this down because you know because this is this is really exciting, right? Oh great, he blocked. That's great. He did a kick and a and a shoulder yegade, yeah, and now he's like shooting him in the face. Whatever. Hang on, what was that? Oh, okay, so. You can see the eagle there? That was really fast. Am I not familiar with the character? Absolutely not. I have not watched Peacemaker at all. I've heard like it's good, I've heard it's bad. I think I'd much rather watch The Boys. I started watching The Boys with my son actually. So... Uh, so there's the eagle there. Right? Which obviously is another pop-up because again, this was supposed to be a superhero game. That's why everyone's flying around all through the fucking air like they're on, like, you know, <laughs> wires on a movie set. That's the whole joke on the character? Oh, okay, well, it's... it's okay, well, that makes it worse. Alright, hang on. Whoa, wait, what? Hang on. So here comes damn it, Janet. Hang on, there was some I, I caught a frame there. It looked really funny. Hang on. Oh, okay, all right. It just I thought it like messed up the animation. So she runs out and does a kick. And then she does another kick.
and then an up. How how does how does how does this work for? <laughs> How, how does this work? Cause she's a cameo, right? Is this is this is this like a four hit combo that she's doing, or can you control or can you can control each hit? <laughs> the cameo originality is Brett. Yeah, I know, man. I can't hold back. There's that fucking eagle again, man. Holy shit. Hey, is this hitting at a different height? Let me guess. All right, so... So... So his eagle is the fireball. Yes? Nah, no crossplay me mentioned in the trailer, man. So, so that's that's two heights that the eagle's been at because you can see it here, right? And that pops her up higher. And she runs in. She's got... Like a... I don't know what the fuck that is. And then he's got... Oh, so he's got gun as well. Okay. So he's kind of got two... Two... Um, he's got two projectiles, right? He's got a low mid eagle. Unless you... Unless it's... A single eagle that you can move up and down, you know, like uh, you remember uh, Kong Lao's hat. You throw it and you press up or down, and we go up or down. Maybe it's that. Definitely got his gun. Right now he's got the fucking. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, this is hilarious. Wait, what? What the fuck was that? What's Janet doing? Hang on. So she runs out. Is she sucking dick here? What's What's this? What was? Could be string based like Quan Chi Tentacle. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, yeah. Right, so... What is... She's running into an invisible wall. Oh, shit. They fucking did the ninja mime thing. So the ninja mime thing is a projectile block, right? Look, watch, ready? She runs out. Look at her fucking face, man. She's like, hang on. Who's she's? Who's dick is she sucking with that face, man? What the fuck? Right? I can't, man. I can't. With these people. And then, and then she just like gets pulled back out of nowhere, like...
You know what? I think I think I would be happier if I look at Mortal Kombat as like a comedy skit, right? So if we approach Mortal Kombat as if we're watching, you know, a comedy movie, it makes sense, right? Now, did it? Hang on, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Hang on. How did he get more? Has, has he got a? Hang on. Okay. All right. That's fine. Look at look at this fucking That's a thumbnail too. That's I'll got I'll got a fucking like a bunch of thumbnails now. Right. I want you to look at this this right now. Right? This is this is like like nobody knows what's going on, right? Peacemaker's like Peacemaker's having a fucking Joe Biden moment. He's like Right? He's off this way. Somebody off camera is going like, right, right now, Janet. In you go. Off you go. Just go for his nuts. Right? Go. Go. Go, go, go. <laughs> go punch. Go punch uh, Quan Chi in the ghoulies. Right? Smack him right in the ghoulies. How you going, trains? Welcome back, brother. Welcome back, man. Best friend from grade two. All right, look at this. Look at her. All right. You know, I, I was surprised actually. I thought they'd give her a fireball. So, so he's got to reflect. That's great. Right. Who the? This looks cheap. This looks cheap. Doesn't it look cheap? Again, actually, you know what? It just doesn't suit. If this was in Justice 3, it would make sense, right? That's why it would make sense. Okay, here we go. Here with the fucking... fucking kangaroo shit. Hop skippity doo dah! Wait, wait for it, ready. Uh, how attractive do you consider yourself fate? Uh, so... I, so, okay, so you got the ugly tree. Right? I fell out of the ugly tree. I hit every branch on the way down. I hit the ground. And then because I hit every branch on the way down, on the ugly tree, I knocked those branches off because I'm so ugly, right? And then because it's lopsided now, because the branches aren't keeping everything even, the tree capsized, like falls right on top of me. That's how ugly I am. Now watch this, right? Look at this. Look at her running out here like she's the fucking, uh, she's the bionic woman. Hang on, what the hell's going on? Hang on, has he got a, he, hang on, he's done, he's done that, so he's done the smash. He bounces up. Again, look at all the bouncing characters, right? This was supposed to be a superhero game. Damn, why the self this? I don't fucking like, bro. Listen, listen, man. Listen, people don't run after me, right? I just am what I am. Now, what's this? What's this fucking hop skippity do shit that she's doing? What's this? Right? 
This character's fucking weird. Look at a running little bang, bang, bang. I, re I feel really sorry. I feel really sorry for Quan Chi's nuts right about now. And then he does like a Raiden dive. So that's great. You know. Yeah, fuck off, Janet. Get the fuck out of my screen. Right. And then Darius comes in, and then, like, he's being attacked by uh, an American icon. What the fuck is that? Anyway. Can you keep like, fucking, like, you know. I know Quan Chi's evil, but, you know, you got to respect the, the, you know, the man jewelry. Can you keep my secret? Oh, so she, and she's got, you can see there, she's got, like, the shadow kick coming in as well. There it is there. Remember when people were saying gonna be like Robocop? Yeah, people were saying that. It's pay to win. Did 10 or 11 have all the bouncing? No, I don't think so. I played it the other day and I didn't experience that. At least not for me. Uh, well, you know, like James, well, you know. The only happy person about this is, is that right there. This is the stupidest. Fatal blow I've ever seen. <clears throat> this is like, this is weaponized depression. I don't need to watch your bullshit. Let's go back. This is terrible, man. What, what, what is this fucking magic mic show? Yeah, yeah, I know. Apparently it's part of the show. I don't give a shit. I'm just calling it magic mic shit. Oh, flamers. Yeah, no, not only can he, yeah, you're right. Not only can he hold his gun near his crotch, right? But he also says, like, you know, saying bangable to Melina. Isn't that amazing? What happened to their, what happened to their respectable woman? Shit. This game looks like like people are cosplaying as these characters. Now, what's what's Janet do when she's just standing there being stupid? Look at this fucking troglodyte. You you can't you cannot tell me you cannot tell me that's not a self insert. You can't. You cannot tell me that's not a self-insert. Oh, 
Look. <laughs> even even Peacemaker's face is shocked. Look at his face. Right? He's like, damn. Uh, I chose the wrong cameo. You know? I should have got one of them other he hymns. Yeah, that's a hundred percent a fucking self insert, man. A hundred percent. Wish it was fairer. A hundred. Oh yeah, I agree, Bailey. I, I actually wish. I thought it was gonna be. Not to mention, as a, yeah, as I was gonna say, I've got old videos, right? The original advertisement for the cameo, for pre-order and all of that sort of stuff, uh, was Johnny Cage, and then they changed it. So they changed your purchase based on what you were sold. Isn't that like grounds for a fucking lawsuit or some shit? Man, look how dinky this game, like, moves. So, so when he calls the eagle, he jumps, hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm saying it's a self-insert. It looks like it, 100%. Wait a sec. Hang on, what was that? What's that flash of light? Oh, like, over here. Watch it, ready? It's when she runs out. Oh no, no, hang on. Is it is it because of her or is it because of him? The flash of light. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, okay, it's photography. Oh, okay. You know it's gonna be broken as shit, you know that, right? It's hers. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't sure if- I wasn't sure if it was hers. Uh, or, uh, Peacemakers. Oh, listen, listen, Bailey, listen, man. If you like it, that's fine. Like, you know, it, this is just my opinion, right? People are gonna stop taking people's opinions and and acting like, you know, it's gospel. It's not. It's just an opinion, right? If you have fun with something, you have fun with it. Don't let what I say bother you. I ain't gonna make I ain't gonna make videos crying about somebody else's opinion. Crying about. The way they do things. Hang on. What does that gun do? Is that is that a proper bullet that he's shooting? You know that you know people are gonna spam that move, right? His fucking like teleport headbutt.
He's got special ammo. What, so we can swap between the ammo types? God, this shit just looks... Like... I've been saying it forever. The animation and everything in, the, in these NRS games is just awful. What do I want for Combat Pack 2? Uh, I want I want Combat Pack 2 to be that little pen thing that the men in black have, right? When you buy it, it flashes your screen and it makes you forget that Mortal Kombat 1 existed. How about that? That's what I want in Combat Pack 2. Looks like Juan has a new move. Uh, where? I don't think he would. He's already got a ton of moves. I don't care what other people's opinions are. I do care when people lie though. Right? But that's the good thing about people when they lie actually because uh... Well... I'll save that for a rainy day. Where's this fucking... Where's this... You said so, Quan Chi had a, like another special move. Are you sure? New portal looks like the meter drain or chip damage buff. Oh, okay, let's go back then. I can't get over that. What's the... Captain Fantastic. Yeah, I like how you say things what other people say which simply aren't true. I don't think you know what DSP is. But by all means, you're another viewer in the chat, so I do appreciate that. Peacemaker's literally stealing from Spawn, Nightwolf, and either Cassie or Striker. Oh, okay. Uh, are you too scared to talk to Sonic Fox? Why would I want to talk to Sonic Fox? I've got no interest in talking to a furry. Why would I want to talk to that man for? Uh, boy. You know. Is he a man yet? I don't know. He's still pretty young, isn't he? I, I, I was, I thought she was going to get his fireball. I honestly thought she was going to get his fireball. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, fucking uh, Salty Locks will probably put out a post going, you know, uh, because I get cooked. How would I get cooked? What's he gonna say? How you going, Max? What's happening, bro? Stick with Tekken 8. Yeah, man, Tekken 8's great. And Grand Blue. Don't forget Grand Blue. Grand Blue is a great fighting game as well. Hang on, I want to see that fine print. Hang on. Is there anything in there? No? Okay. I can't, I can't believe they're stretching shit out. <laughs> Fate versus Uncaged. 
I got nothing to prove fighting people. I don't, get, I, don't, I don't care about beef set crap, that's just fucking lame. He, he knows what he's talking about, you don't. Oh no. Have fun with the dislike, bye loser. Okay. Run along. At least my channel is growing authentically. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if somebody knows more about a video game than me. How lame do, how lame do you have to be to think that you are some, someone better than somebody else over a video game about fictional characters? Right? It's sad. It's very sad. But not surprising, considering some of these people are from the Netherrealm community. Yeah, I, I can't believe they're still doing the drip feed, man, Gempura. Yeah, like, like having, like, uh, you know, like, literally releasing a cameo as if it's its own character. <laughs> you still playing the classics max power that's great bro is this a, the sound is really good in the classic games i should do a stream with true underdog gaming oh i don't think he's i don't think he's gonna want to talk to me he's probably a nice guy that's that's actually you know what here we go this is the interesting part, right? The shill side of it are actually nice people. It seems like they're nice people. They're just shilling. But when you get to the competitive side, that's when you start to get the assholes, right? Uh, Foxy is a fool. Was he celebrating that Draken guy leaving X the other day? Was he really? Well, the, the fucking dude sounds like he's deep-throating fucking fairy floss, so whatever, right? Imagine celebrating somebody, like, being attacked for simply, like, stating that they don't like, or they say it's okay. You know. Uh, Four Snakes seems nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've got no problem with him. So, yeah, despite the shilling that guys like Brusk... Uh, and believe me, like, I spoke to Brusk, as everyone heard. Right? They actually seem like they can, they're possibly nice people. But when you get to the competitive side, whew. Uh, Snoog City says you're unsubscribing because of the non-stop bashing of a shitty game. Okay. I like it when people say, I'm unsubscribing. I'm unsubscribing. What, what is what is that going to do to me? Right? You probably weren't fucking subscribed in the first place. All fate does complain about everything. Oh, I complain about Mortal Kombat. See, so if you announce if you announce that you're unsubscribing. Uh, you're a bitch. That's what that's what a female does. That's like those weirdos that go like, I'm leaving, and you go, okay, see ya. And they go, bye. And you go, okay, see ya. And they go, I'm really leaving now. Okay, bye. I'm really, really leaving. <laughs> that's what the... Uh, hang on. Uh, what is it? All Fate does is complain about everything. Oh, okay, cool. Go back, check my channel videos. See, how many videos I put out now? Let me check. I put out 663 videos. All I do is complain. I'm 40 plus whining about a video game. So? What's wrong with my age? Am I not allowed to speak? 
I paid for it. I'll talk about it whenever I like. What are you going to do about it? Nobody can do anything. Right? That's why everyone keeps trying and failing. Tom Brady just complains like you. So what? It's his channel. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. What are you, a fucking... Are you a clown? Are you his ex-girlfriend? Right? Are you scared that he's getting more... He's talking about something more than you? Who gives a shit? It's a fucking video game. Do you really think this stuff matters? Listen, for all you young people out there, I can tell you right now, this shit doesn't matter. Right? Like, this shit is not serious. It's just a video game. The only time it actually gets serious is when you pay for something and you don't get what you paid for. Right? That's the only time it should matter. The transaction that has taken place is not both ways equally. It's the only time it matters. It's the only time it's serious. So, this is like you know what you know what Peacemaker looks like. Peacemaker looks like a mod. Peacemaker looks Peacemaker looks like somebody modded the game, like a character into the game. Zafina is bottom tier with Panda and Leroy. Yeah, but she's like, she's hot, so she's always going to be top tier. Nah, that's a fucking self- Dude, that is a self-insert 100% of the SB. Does this reveal make uh, a how? Uh, no, nah, it doesn't bring Mortal Kombat back to life. You, they, they literally put out, like, actually, let's check the Twitter. Let's see if there's anything updated on Twitter, right? Oh god, it's already fucking started. Let's uh let's uh let's check in on uh one of the condiment people. So we check in one of the condiment people. All right. Here we go. This is like, so this is the, like. This is the definition of shillery, right? I've talked about these people before. They just love Mortal Kombat. You know, you, you can put shit on a, on a stick. And as long as it's got a dragon symbol on the side of it. This is, by the way, by the way, right, see this combo that, that, that Cage is doing, right? 
this is what these clowns say to me. Oh, you could do these like infinite hits and stuff like that. Yeah, against a CPU stuck in the corner or, or, a, sec or, or a two player that isn't moving. Right? Of course you could do it against that shit. Fucking idiots. Where's that, where's that picture again? Where's that picture again? Here we are. Oh yeah, they yeah they blew all their budget on fucking um. They they blew all their budget. Hang on, what is that? An Adam's apple? This chick is so ugly; it forces men to become priests. Is that an Adam? Is that an Adam's apple? Where's the where where's the uh, the fatal blow one? I need to get a good look. It may not be. It could just be lighting. Uh, nothing on crossplay yet. Unless it's come out on, on the Twitter page. No, I don't think it's got an Adam's apple. No, I can't see it. No, it looks pretty smooth. I don't I don't think there's an Adam's apple there, man. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, Hanny's Hanny's Hany, 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 I can't say your name, bro. Right. No, I don't think it's. I don't think it is. Yeah, no more warrior shrine. Like. So, so, uh, I didn't buy a turkey fatality. Fuck's wrong with you?
Prefer Warrior Shrine is character ranked, but nah, it's going to be uh, combat legs. Uh, I'm, I'm actually wondering, like, so, okay. Uh, Zero, I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if the Warrior Shrine will come in after they're done with the seasons. Right? I don't, I don't know if this game's got, like... Man, this is like, this is fucking weaponized depression. Oh boy, oh boy, am I going to have some fun ripping this thing. Your high for Shadow of the Erd Tree. Yeah, I saw that trailer earlier, man. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, when I when I played MK11 the other day, right? Um, like that that's that's a Mortal Kombat game. Like I hate the game, but at least it, at least it's an MK game. Everything's grounded, not flying all over the screen unless you're bouncing off something else. But that doesn't get used as part of a combo. Well, no, you you can not you all mm, sort no you sort of can I suppose. Yeah, I've done that a few times with Cabal. I can leap over someone, then do like the aerial, like the his aerial buzzsaw um, move. But it's yeah, anyway. But yeah, everything's ground based, right? Everything feels a lot heavier, ground based. This is literally Injustice Three with an MK mod. That's all. It's it's just injustice three, and that, and that's why it feels so bad as a Mortal Kombat game, right? And that's probably why we get a lot of a lot of sort of like conflicting, uh, you know, like we get a lot of confliction between the like the groups. Probably is because you got people that really love the feel of of injustice games. And then you got the people that love the feel of Mortal Kombat, and then you kind of mesh, you push them together like this game, and it's just terrible. So, but no, like they they didn't announce. Uh, there's no crossplay announcement. It is now the 23rd of February. Right. I don't. I don't, I don't know if we're getting it. Unless they're going to announce it like at a combat cast. Which will be, as we know, like it'll be pre-recorded. What a fucking joke. Uh, this is accurate. Oh, go away. Fucking... 
Fucking mutant. Anyway. Uh, uh, how it feels to hate Mortal Kombat 1 or M1 Kombat. <laughs> uh, Madoink coming in with the one punch. That's great. Don't forget, yeah, they'll put the comments off as well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Ed, Ed Boone's uh, out of cryo sleep again. It's sad to be a hater these days. I, I hate it when people use the word hater though, man, because it's like, you're not hating it. It's just, you're just disappointed, right? But hate's a very strong word, you know? But if you don't call it out. So yeah, Ed Boone woken from his slumber. Oh, somebody goes, is Terminator from MK11 but in Peacemaker Avatar, is that true? <laughs> Meanwhile on PC. <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, look, it's negative feedback. We're making fun of it. You know? I'll take that. Don't forget, like, because this guy, like, Drake says too, like, don't forget, there's still, like, all the, there's all the XP grind as well in the game. Thank you, thank you, Ed Boone, for ripping us off. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit, is that fucking Walter White? <laughs> oh shit. Man, this is bullshit. What a what a fucking cope, man. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who did this. This looks amazing.
They can't properly separate the fighting styles according to the character, yeah. There's just no identity anymore, man. Oh, you know damn well I'm doing that fucking comparison to, to Brownback and, and Janet. You know that, right? You know that's coming. And all my fangirls are out there be like, I think it's terrible that you do. How dare you, like, talk about that and shut the fuck up. Western gaming is in the toilet because of self-inserts. I need, I need some soft drink, I'll be back in a sec, hang on. I have snacks. You should always uh always bring snacks when you watch a comedy. You wanna empty it? Did you turn the thing around? Or is it already fine? Okay. Thanks, buddy.
This entire game needs a lobotomy. All the fucking widows on Twitter will love this shit. Mm. Somebody just made it a good point. You guys, so wait, what? So you realize the Switch version sucks? Why is there no free? Why is there no free play weekend for the Switch version? Why did they? Why did they leave out Nintendo? You should have a fucking class action lawsuit a bit against how bad the Switch version is. That was terrible. What a disgrace. Yeah, we've had like we've had like what multiple sales and now they're doing like free to play. We're also not getting frostbite. Do you reckon we... Yeah, but I think MK11 was good on the Switch, wasn't it? Wasn't MK was MK11 on the Switch?
Was it a shit port? Was it? Oh, it got better, did it? Oh, okay. Bro, look at people trying to fucking roast Total MK. Right? These people are going, oh. She's in the story mode when, when Total MK says, who the fuck is Janet Cage? Bro, she showed up with a whole bunch of fucking, like, people. They were all like mix and matches because they were all all from different fucking timelines. Dude sitting here eating snacks as MK1 to can Yeah, it's time it fucking fails. Nova Tika, yeah, hundred percent. I'm not disagreeing with that. It needs to die. I have watched Ed Boon destroy fucking Mortal Kombat, except for MK9, for twenty-two years. Right? This is what happens when you don't create legacy and build on that legacy. This is this is what you get. You get a corporate product. It's disgraceful. So, you know. So peacemaker look like Robocop still to you. No, I said that's what somebody said, bro. Does nobody pay fucking attention? What did I say? Cameos was a shit idea. What Cameo should have done was apply buffs directly to your character. Right? The buff should have applied directly, like, like the character, like the Cameo character, right? For example, Scorpion. I'm not always stuffing my face, bro. The cameo should have applied, like, whatever cameo abilities it had to the character. Right? So if you had a scorpion cameo, it could set you on fire. So when they hit you, they're taking damage. He could have, like, you know, uh, given you some kind of, like, demon that, that, like, you know, flies around and shoots while you're doing shit. I don't fucking know. Uh, uh, Ethereal says, boom, we have a lot of fun surprises coming for the fans. Yeah, like pulling down her panties and she's got a fucking Johnson. That's a surprise. It's not a fun surprise. Yeah, I think he's got two eagles, Stone. There's one, there's one in the trailer where it comes low, 
in the beginning and then later on when I think it's in the living forest it's coming in about mid height so I don't know if he's got like two separate ones or he can change the height of them once he's launched it I don't know You haven't played it since Tekken 8's come out. Oh, I think you'll be in for a rude awakening. This is a fairly accurate post. Dude, I'd fucking take Sue Howe over this chick. Which is, you know what? I, I don't, I don't think we're the, the the target demographic. Let's check in on the Steam discussion forums. Let's see what they're saying. You know Sonic Fox is going to spurg out over Janet Cage, you know that, right? You know what I reckon, Ringy? It's a theory. This is my theory and my opinion. In case those folk out there try to hold me account to everything I fucking say because, you know, they suck. I wouldn't be surprised if they're trying to intentionally tank the IP of Mortal Kombat. So much so that it has so much negativity attached to it that they sell it at a cheaper price.
It wouldn't surprise me at all. I reckon they're going to try and drop uh, cross-play with the free weekend. I think that's what they're going to try and do. Well, because Warner Brothers are bankrupt, right? I don't know. I don't know. No, that probably doesn't make sense, actually. Well, they're going bankrupt, it looks like. Bushin Ryokat. Thank you, brother, for the $5. Oi, fate, and the star of the show, Kitty. Do you know of mods that add new skins or music uh, to MK10 for Steam? I own MK1 on Switch, so don't bother. Oh, okay. Let me have a look, man. Uh, let's look at MK10 mods. So, if you go to a website called Nexus Mods, right, N-E-X-U-S-Mods.com, uh, uh, and type in Mortal Kombat 10, you'll come up with a whole bunch of mods, right, the skins, oh, there's a Gothic Sonya, that's cool, they don't have a whole bunch though, there's not a, bu there's not a bunch there. Uh, what does what does crossplay do? Crossplay basically means that, so you've got like you know you've got Xbox over here, PlayStation here, PC here, Nintendo here, and then they can only play with themselves, right? But then, like the pool, they build a pool. Yeah, everyone can jump in and play with each other because you know fun times right so yeah so that's basically it it means that you can play with other people on other platforms generally you can turn that shit on or off so if you only want to stick to your own platform and play base you can um, they do it in every other fighting game but yeah Why well, aren't we getting like like aren't we getting like female uh, sex toy? Isn't isn't that a thing? No, I get my crossbows. Oh, why does uh, hang on? Why does this mean anything to MK1? Oh, you mean why are people excited about it? Is that what you mean? Uh, Animal Instinct with the five dollars. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Uh, uh, there we go. I even offered a chip. I uh, love your channel, Sikander and Mike Hollow are such triggered betas. You're funny as hell, especially when you called him Cupcake and caused him to explode. Yeah, well, Cupcake and Discount Momoa, you know.
Um, I'm going to assume that's what you're like. I, I think I know what you might be saying. Yeah, bro, it ain't exactly something to be excited about. Okay. I think people are excited because they think that maybe the... Well, okay, so obviously it opens up the population, right? Right, so you have very little people playing on PC. Right? Uh, yeah, no, far from it, Spicy. Far from it. Fucking snake. Anyway, not you. Not you, you're not a snake. Right, so... Um, I think it's because, because the game is actually dying. There is very little interest. It opens up more people to be able to play, and that possibly may, to some people, think that it might rejuvenate the excitement. You know, people go, oh, well, you can... Like, think about it like this. Like, you know, if you own a PlayStation, your friend owns an Xbox, you know, you should be able to play against each other, right? Just by default now, in, in this day and age, 100%. So... You know, for some people that could be exciting, for the people that do enjoy the game, they do want to play with their friends. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a revival of, of like, in any sort of magnificence. So, back in a sec. Uh, SlideJoker77 says the only reason it didn't have crossplay to start with was people need to buy extra copies to play with friends on different platforms. Yeah, I've heard that said before. Yeah, I've heard that said before basically. I mean, it's kind of smart when you think about it, right? Yeah. Forces you to get more sales. If you're a company that's failing and needs money, you're going to try and do everything you can. That's why, like, they put, like, 
the the season stuff into the the cash shop because you know they they can't afford for people to wait for that stuff to come back to try and get it again and like a redone season oh yeah no that's all on uh that's all on purpose i have no doubt so Strikeful says there are things I agree with Michael and there are things I disagree. Listen, I'm not disagreeing, but like as far as like gaming shit and takes go, that's fine. Right? But that fucking dude wants to act like he's some sort of like holier than thou than everyone else because, you know, oh, I say things better than, than what fate does. You know, I don't like the way he does shit. I'm not his fucking boyfriend, am I? I gave that dude a chance, and the and the and the sad part is is that he is what everyone else has been saying to me for a while, and that he was fucking just like there was an agenda there, and we got proof of that. So all saved. Uh, what's that one? Hang on. Oh, that's that one there. I gotta build my fucking. <laughs> Oh uh, shit. This chick's face, I'll tell you what. Uh not that one. Oh no, we can do a combo one. Gender cage and Fighting games you're really enjoying now, Grand Blue. Oh, Grand Blue. Oh, I'll be honest, man. Like, Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. Um, and, um, uh, Tekken 8 are probably at the top for me. But I think, I think in some ways, I think, I think Grand Blue might pip it a little bit. I think I've really resonated with Grand Blue Rising, like Fantasy versus Rising, like really, like in a huge way. So, um, uh, John Cena going Turbo Man now. No, but uh, no, but says, do you think Warner Brothers no will actually see the backlash? Oh yeah, they do. I just don't, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, humanity. I don't, I don't think they can turn it around though. I think it's, I think they're stuck. I, I think they've, they've made commitments. They've paid who they need to pay. You know, like people like John Cena and stuff like that. They've obviously paid, I'm assuming the story DLC is done. See ya, Zero. Thanks for stopping by, bro. Spicer Rice says, do you normally play Arc System games? Um, oh, like, I, so in general, I buy all fighting games, right? Because I just love the genre. Although I buy a lot of games in general. Uh, but, um, Arc System games are great. They're really solid, but Grand Blue is probably the first one that, like, I really invested in. Yeah. I got the first game, it was pretty good. Uh, but then... When I got Rising, I was like, yeah, this is just really resonating with me. Like, really resonating. So. And I love it, man. It's just, it just, it just feels like a great fighting game all around.
Uh, Gravely was that new action RPG that released about the same time. Really liked it. Oh yeah, I um, I'm hoping uh, Rosetta shows up. I, I bought Relink. I haven't played it yet though. Um, what platform are you on, dude? Are you on PC or uh, console? Who's your favorite character in Grand Blue? Oh, that's easy, bro. Percival. Yeah, I fucking love using Percival in Grand Blue, man. He's awesome. I don't know why. It was just the first character. I'm like, I'm going to try him out. I really like the character. Um, I like all the characters, actually. I just, um, but he's, he's the one I'm maining at the moment. Uh, I'm trying to get him up to level 500. Uh, I think I've got him up to 270 or something, something like that, you know. My biggest gripe with uh, MK1 is the fact that there are some things I like. I just wish there was more something to do actually in the game, minus playing online or playing the worst single player. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know, man. Like that's the thing. Like <laughs> they set the standard themselves in the 3D era, and then they just forgot about it. Of course, if they bring in crossplay. This is what I was going to do originally. If there was crossplay and rooms, I was going to set up a room just like I've done in Grand Blue or Tekken. And uh, and then you guys can come in and we just muck around. Where's that fucking free to play? I need that. There we go. I've got it. Oh, you off, Hollow Hunter? Alright, see you later, dude. Thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, yeah, um... <clears throat> what does it say? Uh... Yeah, Ark and Bandai Namco. Kraken Original says, uh, NRS is reaping what they sowed. Bandai Namco and Ark have been grinding out, perfecting their style of fighters with more than just Tekken or Guilty Gears. NRS has been, yeah, 100%. All, all the Japanese developers seem to be on the ball. I, I don't, I don't know you can turn this around. Uh, it's already hit the iceberg. I, I don't, th I don't think it can be saved. I mean, I play it with you guys. You know, like if if they bring in rooms and crossplay and shit, um, I play with you guys. Remember when the compact pack said Johnny Cage? Yep, and I've already covered that in videos as proof. They they have a, they have technically sold a product and lied about it. Uh, no cameo modes would definitely be a, a win. 
Um, and if they added, yeah, if they added like no cameo along with like tag, like you said, that's that's a win. I pr I prefer to fight people online, uh, just one on one. That's why I don't use my cameo when I fight. I just prefer to. I just. I, I hate it. I hate the fucking whole thing. It's crap. I said. I, I said I was going to be crap. I was going to ruin it because they don't know what they're doing, and it turned out to be true. Yeah, he can elaborate. Hey, MK1 will be fully released in 2026. Says Chris Hansen, yeah, that's true. They lied before the game came out saying there's plenty to do. Did they mean plenty of other things? Well, I mean, if you it, well, I mean, if you think grind is is considered content, I don't. <laughs> don't jump. Ranked matches, unlike casuals, are meant to be official statistics. Rating the value of the players is not like casuals, just for challenge for fun. Players want to be noticed. <clears throat> so I do have suggestions for that. Did you want to respond, man, or uh, are you done? Raiden and Cyrax combination, any thoughts, anyone? Uh, that's not in my wheelhouse. So they have a shot at events like EVO and such, so it's real serious to them, I don't care for that. <clears throat> I just want to get better so casuals fight for me, hollow and others want rank to be serious. Yeah, well that's, well, it's, you know. That's, that's because, that's because their penis is small and they need to flex it somehow. That's my non-serious answer.
my serious answer is this. Uh, it's a video game, right? The strongest and only position should be, are you having fun? Is this fun? Now, Namco and Tekken, like the Tekken team, put the option for people to leave in the game, right? MLA Gaming, how you going, bro? Right? So they put the option for people to leave in both modes. You know why? Because they understand a bunch of reasons. One of them being life happens. You know, the cat jumps on my fucking air conditioner and knocks it over. I'm gonna go. Right? <laughs> I don't give a shit about finishing the set. Right? Or if, if, if I need to do a school run or something like that and I've realized the time. There is this... There is... Yeah, still no crossplay, Toby. Um, there is no, like... Like, and, and I made this suggestion the other day. I said, you could have a set mode that locks you in for three. Or a tournament style one. That is akin to a tournament, right? You sign up for it, you know, your name's in there, and then on the days that it goes ahead, you can do it, right? So ranked is kind of like casual plus, which it kind of is, you know? You get points, you're only leveling up or leveling down. That's it, right? I've been told by only pros that, you know, Getting to things like Elder God don't matter. So if that's true, if that's true, then rank doesn't mean shit. Okay? Because in the end, you are playing online with, you know, different variables like lag, you know, all that sort of stuff versus offline, which is going to be a far more superior experience. Okay? But if you want to have an online tournament style mode, have a, a locked mode that you sign up for. They do this in MMOs, right? Where you sign up to compete, you know, and then you can compete on certain days uh, when it's supposed to go ahead, and that's it. It's actually designed very specifically for the, com the like a like a true hardcore competitive side, right? And then you can keep, so you can have that. You can have ranked. Right? But then you also got casual. Now, I did say this the other day. I don't know if people are aware of this, but... If you look at the rank... Like, if you look at the artwork and shit that you get... Right? When you unlock a rank. And you go, well... And I, I could be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is true. Um... You can... You can unlock all that... Like, the... You know, the... You know the design that you can get around your, uh, uh, like your, um, like, like your health bar, uh, your, your player profile card, that sort of thing. You can unlock that stuff from what I've discovered offline, right? So when you don't do any online content and you're fighting like the story, not the sorry, not the story, the like the the arcade, like each character story, the arcade. Or ghost battles, or the super ghost battle. You're, what you're doing is you're you're actually leveling up your offline level. And I did it the other day. I got to a certain rank, and it actually unlocked like like the 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 rank sort of like you know graphic art and stuff like that. It unlocked that for my my account. That's not my online rank though, right? That's not, that's not online rank. My online rank is, what am I up to now? Ganru, right? But, but if I'm doing anything offline, it's a completely different rank, right? So some people might go, oh, I don't like playing online, but I really want that stuff. It's like, it's okay. You can, you can act, you can get that offline. You don't ever need to play online if you don't want that. And I'm wondering if people think that ranked, the only reason why you have to do ranked for those people that want just the, the pretty shit is because they they can only get it through that mode. But you don't. Okay? You, that's, you don't at all. Right? Ranked is about pushing yourself, you know, getting into like really competitive brackets and that sort of thing. 
and levels to to see how you go um and uh you know like so but yeah like that's the thing though like like they obviously understand that there's a whole bunch of 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 reasons why you might need to leave not to mention not to mention if you get absolutely destroyed 3-0 in that first fight right uh nova tika thank you thanks bro for stopping by um so if you get absolutely destroyed 3-0 and you're like nah i'm not nah i'm not doing that again i'm not doing that again right that's t it's just too much right it's too much or the or there's bad connection right so when you you first lo load up it, it looks like you're getting a good connection you get into the game and suddenly it's like a slideshow it's terrible right because they're on wi-fi everything's up and down you know and it's like okay i'm not dealing with that either nobody likes to be locked in you gotta remember that at the end of the day and this is the only point that matters at least for me anyway you paid for something you don't want it to feel like it's punishing you right if you want to try and rank up a little bit in ranks and then the baby's crying or, or like wakes up or dog shat in the house or you know you just got bodied and you're like nah man i just nah you know you're just the better player i'm walking away right they've already won their points you've already lost your points so what difference does it make do they deserve to take more of your points no because you're not locked in for three you got the choice but tekken like namco they added the option in there for people to leave if they want and at the end of the day you paid for it you have every single right to do whatever you want there is no you know oh you're a bad person you know or anything like that the only time that becomes a problem is if you're cheating or you're pulling the plug out that sort of stuff like a hundred percent like cheaters should be absolutely banned pluggers banned boosters banned get rid of all that shit you still got to make it fair but i also understand that people go oh i think i figured this guy out i've done that myself i'll get destroyed i'll be like okay right he's heavily leaning on just these couple of moves i'm gonna see if i can work around it and beat him okay but at the end of the day people have to respect the fact that it is just a game it is just meant for fun and that people if they decide to bounce for whatever reason they should do so it's their right to do it whether people like it or not it's their right to do it okay and so therefore ranked i think should just be like viewed in the same way as casual but just a little bit more serious you know it's like casual plus right it's like when you when you do dungeons in uh, world of warcraft right you got standard dungeon okay then you got heroic okay so that would be casual and then ranked if you will okay in terms of like you know sort of like you know sort of importance i suppose right but it's probably not maybe it's not the best thing it, it doesn't matter right i i think if, the, if, if there's going to be continual backlash about this sort of shit then people are forgetting that it's still just a video game right it has always been my position it will continue to be my position if you're not happy and you want to leave the match or you've got other things that happen you have every single right to do so it doesn't make you a bad person it doesn't make you a bad you know like i know people brought up sportsmanship this isn't a sport we're not competing here trying to win prize money right or going to an evo or something it is just a video game okay it's just a video game okay that's like choosing between standard mode and like say call of duty for team deathmatch and then hardcore right it's just another mode but you paid for it you should you can do whatever you want with it 
It's your right to do so. Okay? And uh, people forget that. Okay? People forget that. And especially too, like as you get older, you know, like, you, don't, you start to not take this stuff as serious. Mortal Kombat bugs me because I paid for a product that under-delivered. And I have watched the franchise fall apart for a long time. A franchise I want to support, financially, but are giving me every reason not to. Right? So, I understand, like, what you're saying, oh, well, you know, people want to be seen, but that's just, that's just, well, that's just ego. Right? That's just ego. It, it's, it's no different, it's no different to people that, that, you know, go out there and go, oh, look at all the platinum trophies I've gotten for PlayStation. Look at all the, 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 the Steam achievements I've got. Aren't I wonderful? Pat me on the back. No one gives a shit. No one gives a shit out in the real world. Okay? Because, because reality is, is that when life happens, you know, then no one cares about this stuff. It's just an escape. Gaming is just entertainment. It's just an escape. You know? And some people aren't there yet. Some people are. Once you get there, you realize that, hey, listen, it doesn't matter. It, it, it really doesn't matter what people think of you or anything like that. See, back in the day, um, you know, when World of Warcraft was like, you know, like, like obviously doing dungeons and raids was really difficult to a degree. And uh, if you got like all the gear pieces, and you're walking around like Stormwind or Ironforge or whatever, showcasing the gear that you're wearing, then, um, then yeah, like people are going to be like, wow, we knew that that person wearing that gear, gear set got that from that particular raid, right? And it was rare to see. But over time, people just stopped giving a shit. Like, no one cares anymore, right? Because, you know, because you can transmog the gear, meaning that the stats that you're wearing, if you don't like how the gear looks, you can, you can make it look like other gear. You know, nobody cares anymore. It's just a fashion show. Right? So, you know, it's just a game. But you're the customer, and you paid for it, and you can do whatever the hell you want with it, short of cheating. Right? So, you know, that that's just, that's just my take on it, right? Like, let me just see if I, I addressed everything that you said. Um... Yeah, but, I, yeah, okay, yeah, so, uh, yeah, like, so, playing ranked, again, as I've been told by one of the only pros, that it doesn't mean shit. Getting to Elder God in MK1 doesn't mean shit. So, if that's the case, then ranked is a moot, like, like, arguing for ranked to be serious and have not people, like, have people not leave is a moot point. Because you're like, oh, well, you said it doesn't, you said it's shit anyway. You're telling me these these people have got the Elder God, their skill level is crap. So then why are you arguing for them to stay? You're arguing for them to stay because if you're beating the shit out of people that are crap at the game, you're going to be farming them for the points for you to rank up. Right? So, you know, like it's the same thing with Grand Blue. Grand Blue has the same option as well. You can leave after the first match if you don't want to take it all the way through. So... I'll add, I disagree in that when you start a losing streak in fighters, uh, it's known players get frustrated and retain less. Uh, what do you mean by that, retain less?
<laughs> How you going, Doodle? Uh, yeah, she looks like a developer insert. I've heard the more you feel pressured to win, uh, to get even in a, uh, in a set if you're down some loser, losses, the more you forget what you learned. I don't forget shit, and I'm older than these people. In, in, in my humble limited Tekken experience, no two people fight the same. Right? When I fight MK1 online, you come across a lot of copy paste. But in Tekken, no, nah, not as much. Not for me anyway. You'll get people do their combos, right? Like you'll get people that'll do like their, like some, like say they, like big string combos. But those have a lot of variations as well. So, you know, I just. I don't, I don't care much for matchups. I just go, well, I know my tools. Let's see if I can figure them out and get around it. Right? But, it, but then again, I'm not trying to compete. I, I'm, just, I'm just me. Just playing a game, trying to have fun and push myself because it's a good game. It's like with Granblue. I love that game. It's so much fun. So I push myself to, to do better, to learn more about it because it's a fun game. But at the end of the day, it's just a game. What, like, you know, like, I, d I don't care about, you know, <laughs> whether or not I become some, like, high-ranking, uh, some high-ranking Grand Blue player. I'm not going to go compete. I'm not interested in any of that. I just, I just love playing it. I get online every day. I do my dailies or my weeklies if they're up, you know. So, you know. And it's so funny, is it? Don't you guys find it hilarious? When I pointed out that it looks like there might be possible cheaters in MK1, what do the pro people do? What do they say? Oh, that never happens. What does Sloppy Seconds say? That never happens, right? And yeah, as soon as Tekken 8 comes out, now we can talk about cheaters. Now we can talk about boosters and all this bullshit. Isn't that funny? No, it's just selective. Uh, selective targeting because they don't like me because they're betas. Right. Beta! So. I, I just, I can't believe they didn't announce crossplay with it. They should have announced it. At the very least, it's a small glimmer of hope. Lindsay says, don't forget the Cronus Max again, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, I'm in my mid-40s and missed the underground Chinese battles that MK was based off of Big Trouble. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I missed that feel too, man. Did I, did I, did I do that on live stream? I think I did, didn't I? Oh shit. Uh, Bushin Ryu Cat, Ryu Cat says, remember that famous 10 set match between Sonic Fox, Sonic Fix and Perfect Legend for MK10? Sonic Fox won by a wide berth because uh, PL got flustered. PL is a god in MK yet lost 7 to, uh, 7 to 10 I think. Yeah, I... I find that really surprising. There was a there was an article that came out apparently that 
it was mentioned that about doping. I don't know if Perfect Legend said it. It was something to do with like Adderall and uh, what do you call it? Um, you know, like autistic medication, that sort of thing. Right. Uh, and then if you if you look further, there's actually other articles that have been talked about, like the worry of doping in the esports scene. You know, to to, to heighten your you know your your thinking and, and your reaction time and stuff like that. So I don't know. Who knows? Is there medications for being a furry? I don't know. Fucking groaner. I get fucking I get in trouble for fucking you know. Oh, I don't say the right things. Oh, I didn't realize you know. I I, I didn't realize uh, everyone else on YouTube but, you know, and I, I was just. You know, having to tow their line. Anyway. But yeah, like, looking at this gameplay after playing tons of, like, Tekken and stuff, it's so janky. I heard there was going to be Olympics where everyone is doped. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine that, man? Holy shit. You have like, you have like the 100 meter sprint, right? And, and some people take, take the wrong drugs. Right, so, so some of them have taken speed, you know? But other ones, like, they've been given the wrong ones, but on purpose. So they've taken, like, pot. So they it's like the gun goes off, and, the, and like, all the, all, the, all the crackheads are just, like, boom, like, right down the lane. And then the potheads are at the like, hey, man, it's school, bro. Right? right? And they just start, like, like, wandering, like, Jack Sparrow down the fucking skin. Yeah, I'd watch that shit, man. That'd be funny. Oh, really? Wow. Uh, Triple X Gaming, how you going, man? What did you think of the Peace Sucker trailer? Oh, yeah. This is comedy gold, bro. Sikander. <laughs> Good old cupcake. Well, everyone's allowed to have their opinion, honey. I mean, that's the thing. Like, everyone's allowed to have your their opinion. Like, it's this weird, this weird fucking mentality, right, that people have. That go, you know, oh yeah, by the way, because it was supposed to be Johnny Cage too. So they lied. They 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 lied about the purchase that they were expecting everyone to get. Right, and people bought it under the assumption that Janet Cage was supposed to be Johnny Cage. And then they lied about it. So that in itself is a problem. That's a major problem. That's that's the that's the true problem, right? And then the rest of it we're just laughing at, right? Uh, yeah, so Mortal Kombat right now. Uh, my son notified me of this. Mortal Kombat 1 right now on Twitch uh, only has 238 viewers. And I've got more viewers than all of them. <laughs> I think I do anyway. Hang on, let me check. Yeah, I do. Yep. Oh. Oh. I got fucking... I got more people watching this stream right now than anyone singularly doing it on Twitch right now. That's funny. 
And then, and then people go, oh, you just think you're so awesome. No, I don't. It's just funny. Napoleon complex. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? I isn't it funny, right? You ever noticed? You ever noticed that nobody had a problem with my videos? Even when I was like up to like 3,000 subscribers, nobody had a problem with anything I saw said or anything like that until the fucking only pros and their little fucking bitches suddenly start going oh we c this dude hey we need to slow this dude down we need to start making up lies we need to start calling him the dsp we need to start putting out hit pieces on fellow youtubers with no actual evidence isn't that fucking amazing there's a word for that it's called libel <laughs> Fate owns Twitch, we won. <laughs> Minzy says, watch out, Fate, you might hurt the NRS's feeling, get you banned like they did that guy who compared MK1 and MK11 numbers on Steam. <laughs> yeah. So what do you what are you guys thoughts on the Tekken shop? My only my like my gripe. So I'm not I'm not hard on the Tekken shop in the, in the sense of, you know, they put out a fully working product, right? Uh, and there is a post actually. I'll show you a post. This is by Harada. I'm gonna do a video on this, right? Um. Uh, Harada actually put out this post uh, where he talks about development costs. So we got a fully, we've got a fully realized fighting game with Tekken 8, right? Tons of content, preset costumes, like a near infinite amount of, of uh, costumes that you can create. Story mode, every character has got their own little mini story, arcade, super ghost battle. Uh, and then just standard ghost battles against people and obviously you can download them as well and put them in the super ghost battle area too Tekken lounge, so I'm not against I've never been against microtransactions, you know as long as they're done good, right? And this post by Harada proves that Right, but in order to get support For post game launch you've got to put out a great product first Right Uh, you can't say you made it until low tier god calls you trash. Oh, okay Dude fucking did you see low tier god? He was actually at the um, what do you call it? Like the streamer awards or something Do you know how mind fucked that would have got all those guys up? That would have been that would have been fucking mind fucked over that How you going, Cable? What's happening, bro? So yeah, I'm gonna do a video on that because that's um that's a base take. Yeah. And and the thing is the thing is though, right? When you buy a costume, uh, yeah, the price is better too, Toby. Four bucks versus ten. So, 
you're gonna have um you're gonna have better quality costumes the costumes are absolutely going to lean into the history of Tekken characters so they're going to look amazing and in Unreal Engine 5 and you're also going to be able to color them however you want too right Oh, who, uh, who low-tier gods haters? Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? This is, like, like, this is how pathetic some parts of the NRS community are. They just, they just want to attack and bully other people. Right? Oh yeah, I, I like I've, I watched the videos, you know, how you going unknown subject? I've seen the videos on LTG and Six Arrogant and stuff, and they're going down like fucking... They're trying to like, you know, call them a PDF file and shit like that. You gotta, you gotta be real careful with that sort of stuff, right? These people are desperate. They are so desperate for content. That'll, that'll be my thing, yeah. That'll be my thing next. They're gonna fucking try and pin something big on me, right? Let's, let's, let's have a look at Twitch again. This is funny. Everyone is phobic, yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, 255 viewers now. It's going up. So, so the biggest viewer on on uh, on Twitch is uh, Diddle. We've got 56. We've got 40 on uh, Sean Sean Gal 789, I think, something like that. Then we've got 15 on uh, Sickatris. I'm not saying that fucking shit. But what are you? What am I, a bloody linguist? Uh, it's all about the views on YouTube at least, brother. No, I don't like streaming on Twitch. I like my videos being saved on here, man. Right? Bro, I... Dude, I have a, I have a Lord of the Rings movie made about me. Right now. On YouTube. Lord of the Rings. Personally called Peter Jackson and said, listen. This this fake guy. He never mentioned me. But I gotta do it. No, I don't stream on Twitch, bro. I only stream on YouTube. Oh, uh, people told me my, like, I was losing subscribers. I've gained, like, five. So. 
Uh, show off the cat. Twitch female audience will love it. Well, they'll like the cat, but then they'll see my face and go, See ya. Nah. I mean, you can, like, you can dual stream, right? Like, you could dual stream to Twitch. But, um... Oh, you guys got your election this year, that's right. Holy shit. That's gonna be crazy. Look, if you if you like the character of Peacemaker, you know, like like you're gonna like it because it's doing everything you want. Um, but it doesn't fit for me as an MK character, so it just kind of kills it for me. I can't get past that. It's like finding a dick in them panties. You just don't want no dick in them panties. You know what I'm saying? Shika tune, Shika, 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 Shika tune, how you going, bro? I'm, I'm happy here, man. I, I like it here. I like, I like YouTube. And it saves all my stuff, too. So. Oh yeah, I mean, look, look, I I just feel more comfortable here, man. You know, a lot of people have, have gotten big on YouTube streaming, a lot of people, are, are, and doing videos. I do kind of like everything in one place, so... I, t I did try Twitch a few years ago with my MMO stuff, but... Nah. Want to know opinion on this? What thing you can save MK1? Uh, I don't think anything can. I think um, if they added in a 1v1 mode, it would help. It would definitely help. Um, allow people to get combat league stuff another way, so people that don't like to play ranked can access that content uh, elsewhere. I think that'd be good too. Um, but outside of that, yeah.
See a young face. It was only a couple of years ago, bro. Nah. Like, I've got my Twitch account, but there's nothing on there. Uh, gotta gotta get that diversity quota up for Janet Cage, bro. That's why. There you go, Nene. What's happening, bro? <laughs> the eagle would be a better cameo. Can you, can you put balls in a, in a thumbnail? Not, not actual testicles, just the name. Can you do that?
Where's where, where's the asterisk going? Where the S is? Oh, hang on, I got a better one. Hang on. Are we waiting for combat cars to what? No, 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 I don't think it's today. No, I don't think that shit's today. I was just, <laughs> I was just bumming around. I'm just, I'm quite, I'm just doing up my thumbnails actually. How you going Matt, what's happening bro? Uh, not Freud 87 says I don't I don't believe that they have the nerves to do a combat cast with the low rate of players they currently have Hide it. They will hide it till fade out <sighs> Oh, that's another fucking lie clowns push as well. Oh fate doesn't like anyone that plays Mortal Kombat what a dick what a dick shit thing to say. I've never said that, by the way. Not once. Not ever. Oh, you just woke up. Yeah, I think I need to fall asleep soon. Yeah. 
What a brain dead take. It is a brain dead take. I must have struck a nerve when I was joking when I said that I'm other people's content. I guess it had the strice end effect because they keep making content. Yeah, if you if you're not like if you're not used to Tekken, it can be really like really challenging. Yeah. But you don't have to play online, you can just play offline and just take your time. You know. Uh, uh, don't show life bars and meters and so we can't see damage. Yeah, I know it's terrible I'll reinstall mk1 check out peacemaker. That's about it. I Haven't loaded up so now like I haven't loaded up mk1 Because I was gonna do a review of the season just Just as the because uh, I've done the first two I haven't loaded up since February 6th So it's the 23rd today now for us so that's well over two weeks. Uh, I'm in Australia. Yeah, the weather's not. It's not. It was pretty hot today, actually. Yeah, it was pretty warm today. Hang on a sec. Thanks for that, not Freud. I, I just screenshotted what you said so I can um, mention that in the vid. Because I'll probably forget. So you, whenever, whenever that pops up, I'll give you a shout out for it. Uh, by the way, I'm not being a, a slovenly bugger. No sugar and no caffeine. 
can't have caffeine, makes me jittery as fuck. You drink decaf, yeah. It's better for you. I got a, I got, um, I got an email from Antara again. I got to do a React video to one of True Underdogs' videos. So, Did you get the, so you got the Switch version, okay. Did you get, did you get, um, did you get Grand Brew, Grand Blue, Bushin? I'll have to have some matches bro, that'd be cool. Which people need a real life evaluation? You know, you know why everyone's reacting to True on a Dog at the moment? Easy money. There's always a difference between those that need other people for content and those that can come up with their own content. And the ratio difference on, you know, how much one way or the other. Oh yeah, even Tom did a React video. All the, but you know. <laughs> what did he post 40 minutes ago? Let me guess. Was it something about Peacemaker?
Uh, I got PC version, man, but we can still play online, though. Yeah, man. Raven Dogs. No, I haven't seen that video yet, man. Yeah, no, I'm on PC, dude, but we can cross-play. I've already done it. Is this new cameo a girl? I don't know. A, a lot of people are saying no, it's not. It's a transaxle. It probably it probably would be easy money. I'm just too damn honest. Well, yeah, I think I'm fairly honest. Well, that, that doesn't sound honest to say. That doesn't sound honest to say. Relink is crossplay too. I think so. Yeah. some real uncanny valley shit. Did he do an... Did he do another video? That's his second... If he's done... That's his second video, is it not? Don't make me look up his fucking content. <laughs> Janitor cage. I fucking, I fucking love. You know what I love? This is what I love. I like how I get accused of clickbait and rage bait. And what happens? The very people that accuse me of doing it are doing it themselves. I'll tell you what though, I'll tell you what though, I'd much rather talk to True Underdog than fucking Swallow, and discount my mower.
You know, you know what? I I tell you, I tell you what. I'd actually talk. To, I'd talk to Trotter Dog. I would. Hundred percent. Because I think, despite the amount of shilling that do, that dude does, I I could actually probably try and figure it out. Oh, there's worse voices. There's worse voices out there. Yeah, I, I don't I don't talk to filth. I'm not talking to him again. That dude's a fucking snake. Yeah, there's a lot of depression happening in this trailer right now. Yeah, I know, I, yeah, I know what you mean. Yep, yeah, I know what you mean. Likes the pony sh <laughs> He likes the pony show. I think Brusk is just a kid, right? Like, he's really young, isn't he? Isn't he only just, like, graduated high school or some shit? Or something like that? He is a kid. Yeah. You know, if somebody told me 20 years ago, like, actually longer than that, so back in the, the proper 2D era, that this is where MK would end up. I'll be like, wow. You, you just, you're lying. There's no way that's gonna happen. I still remember finding out about John Tobias leaving. It's, it's like your parents breaking up, you know? It's good to see you too again, Matt.
Uh, what do I think about the MK movies? Um, I uh, I love the the nineties one, the first one. Uh, in hindsight, after watching the abysmal twenty twenty one version, um, I I actually have I have more appreciation for Annihilation. Like I, I kind of watch Annihilation as them just going like, we're just gonna just have some fun, and not take it too serious, and ham every you know, like they ham everything up, right? They just ham it all up. So, I actually prefer, I, I prefer, I watch Annihilation all day over the new movie. See you, Bushin. Thanks for stopping by, bro. <laughs> Peacemaker out. Uh, I'm gonna do a watch part. I was gonna do a watch party actually with um, MK Legacy. I think that'd be pretty fun. Uh, Conquest is also great as well. So. Uh, what the fuck is the PlayStation Portal? Dude, if I was walking through a forest and I saw this fucking idiot dressed like that, I just, yeah, something's off, right? Oh yeah, I forgot about the yeah, I forgot about the Legends movies. Yeah. I've only seen um we've only watched the Scorpion one. I, I don't care all that much for the cartoon stuff, although Defenders of the Realm was great. I, I actually really like Defenders of the Realm. I thought it was really well done. There's a there's a different Okay, there's a different attitude and approach to classic Mortal Kombat stuff whether it be games, or the shows, or the movies, then what we get now. Now it's all blood, guts, swearing, you know. Whereas back then, like they were treated as like, you know, not the focus. It was all about making sure that the, you know, the characters were um, developed properly in the universe. That is, uh, that's great advice, honey. Gaming opinions aside, look after your mental health, my dudes, of course. Absolutely.
What a... <laughs> it's such an irritating game. Tyler lands down. This is... <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm just like, I'm starting to like feel super sleepy now. Right. Um... But... Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get some snoozies. Uh, I'll do my videos a bit later So keep an eye out for them if you're interested um, Yeah, that was that was a shit show That was that was terrible uh, I, I, Sincerely All Right that was awful But thanks everyone for showing up. It was a lot of fun a lot of fun um, absolutely destroying that live. Um, but yeah, I'll do my, I'll do my videos later. I've got a bunch to do now. There's a, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot I want to talk about. Much to the chagrin of, uh, my fans. And I don't mean you fans. I mean my other fans. So, all right guys. Um, yeah. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.